Sorry, I've got an itch. Oh my god. It's now stuck to the headband, but oh. Hello and welcome back. Hi. So today it's Sunday. It's a super hall Sunday. That's why I'm in my dressing gown because Sundays are the day where you get in your dressing gown and you don't get out of your dressing gown because that is the rules. So hopefully you guys are all watching this whilst wearing a dressing gown. Anyway, that's enough about dressing gowns. Today is gonna be another January sales haul because although January is coming to a close, which for some people will be like, oh my God, amazing. I'm kind of like, could January be a little bit longer? I did lose a week of January when I was away in New York. But anyway, I'm rambling and I decided to do another haul of a brand that I have done earlier on in the month but it was A, the most popular one, and B, it's the one that has the best sales later on in the month. So yeah, you guys know what it is anyway, because you've seen the thumbnail, and that is an ASOS haul. So these pieces were some of the bits that I mentioned in the last video that they just never arrived. Um, the order took ages. Obviously it was a Christmas delay, but yeah, they arrived, and then I ordered a few more bits as well. So we have a big selection of things. I feel like I might start with the one thing that I am so intrigued and excited to try on. So they did this in black and white. Now the white wasn't in the sale, but the black was. Um, but I think it looks cooler and classier in black anyway. So again, this could be a birthday option. I really don't know. I'm just gonna do that thing, you know, like when it's your wedding, not that I've had one of them, but you know what I mean, that like you go and you try on loads of different styles of dresses to see what you like, that's what I'm doing. So I thought I'd try one like this. So it's like a faux like feather, but it's actually just like little tassel bits, but it looks more like a faux feather dress. And then it's got like the gemmed crystal bra bit. I am currently wearing the headband to match, which is from Zara, which Anya got me for Christmas. Um, and I just thought this was really sassy and I thought it was worth a shot. Now, I do think it still wasn't cheap. Like they definitely weren't giving it away, but let's have a look. Okay, so I feel like with January sales hauls, I always need to do the prices, but let me know if normal hauls you want prices as well, because I never really say it because I feel like it's just too much information to take in, but I'm gonna do it with the sales because we need to know how much coin we're saving, don't we? Oh, I'm so snug in this nightgown. It's from Primark, by the way, and it is the best thing ever. This dress was reduced from £135 to £60.50. So that is over half price, but obviously £60 is still quite a lot, but this is a very good quality dress. My concern, oh, there we go, wow. They've actually, no, no, they haven't. I was gonna say they've thought about it and they've not put any of the tassels near the zip, but they really have. And then trying to put a zip down through tasseled fabric. See, straight away, it's got caught. It's honestly the biggest nightmare. If there are any people that work in design houses out there, can we stop doing that? It's very irritating. Okay, now let's get it over my butt shape. Let's take this off, I'll be back. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so I've got this dress on. Now, if you watch my Fashion Nova haul, you will see that this is a similar style in the way that this kind of, oh, there are bits falling out, but no surprise, it's tassels. There are like a 3D fabric. So it isn't, again, the most flattering. I look a bit like a saggy ostrich potato bag. But I still think it's really cute. I do really like this little jeweled bit. I think it's a nice neckline. I feel like it could be a little bit lower, but oh, there we go. My mum's just texted me. Sorry, I've now joined the Apple Watch Life. You know how it is. Um, I treated myself and made purchase. And yeah, I'm just getting used to it. So sorry that this is now going to be on my wrist for the simple future. And it kind of looks ugly, but it's better than most Fitbits. So we're going with it. But anyway, yes. So obviously it is tight all here. But then obviously all of the back, all of the sides. It is like a little puffy number. I don't mind that. It's just being aware that this isn't going to be that dress that you necessarily feel the most flattered in i'd say like i wouldn't say you don't feel sexy because like this i still feel like quite like actually do i feel more cute in this 
but then it's quite low cut so i do feel a bit more sexy i don't know you don't need to show off all your body parts to feel sexy but you know what i mean like it's a little bit maternity wear kind of vibes but i also do still like it but definitely not for my birthday so you know it's an option i feel like maybe i would prefer it in white because you could see more of the detail whereas in the black you kind of lose the tassels who knows okay now i did pick up a pair of boots to match this dress and these are beautiful they were 40 pounds reduced to 32 pounds so not a huge reduction but 40 pounds for a pair of like embellished black boots is quite a good price anyway so i'll take 32 but these are just a size 6 black kind of like rounded y squared -y offy toe like it's a weird mix between the two of them and then it's got this little jazzy detail i love that because i'm not really like a plain black boot heeled kind of gal um so that kind of adds a little bit of sugar and spice and all things nice but I'm very intrigued how comfy they will be. They're a really nice fabric, like they look really expensive. Um, and I like this kind of style of heel where it's like a thin, but still like widthy. Is that what I mean? I don't know what I mean, but let's pop it on and let's see what the fit is like. Okay. Okay, let's shimmy you down to my feet so you can see what's going on down there. Okay, one shoe on. Let's pop on the other foot. As per usual, the laces are all, laces even, zips are all quite tight um, because they've obviously never been worn before. But, okay. Oh, that foot definitely feels tight. Uh, maybe it doesn't. Maybe it's just how I put it on weirdly. Can we see? They're like really difficult to do up at the back. There we go. Okay, so here are the boots. Here we go. They are really, really cute. I'm loving the heel. They're very, very comfortable. My only concern, I can't look in the mirror right now. Let me have a look. Okay, it's not as bad as I thought, but you know when you've got like boots that come up to this height and then because it's a, it's not wide, but it's not like completely tight, that it would give you kind of like a cankle vibe, but it's actually better than I thought. So yeah, I do think they're really sassy. I think they're really cute. I like them. I think they probably would look better with either like a shorter skirt or um, with trousers. But I do think ankle boots with skirts are always quite difficult to do. I don't think they need to be tight or loose. I, really, I get confused. But as a boot, they are absolutely lovely. Sorry, one sec, I'm just taking them off. Okie dokie. Now, back to more items and maybe something a little bit more casual. Okay, I'm just going to literally empty out the bag of goodies. Now, okay, so of course I have to pick up a coat and there might actually be two coats because who wouldn't get a coat in the sale? I was like thinking about timings and I was like, when am I going to stop wearing winter clothes? And I was like, April? So we've still got another like three months left so i wouldn't worry too much saying that i am already thinking about all my spring clothes i'm going to be wearing um so yeah anyway this is part of the asos a4 what is it 450 let's have a look let's actually get the right technical term oh no oh no my head's already starting to hurt from this headband oh no okay so this is oh no sorry it's from urban code i was wrong and it is a faux fur like fleecy teddy jacket now i got this in a medium because i like my coats to be oversized but i actually feel like this might have looked cute in a size small but we'll try it on i love the sort of like brownie faux fur teddy but with the bright orange and then like these sort of like more army style details i just thought it was something a little bit different um let's do this bad boy up obviously i would not wear with this with this dress that is without saying oh this is cute this is cute can we see can we see how cute it is really cute i need to stop saying the word cute what i would love is if there was a drawstring at the bottom and then you could kind of make oh my god 
no no way wow i look like an actual like little head right now with this big coat um then they actually listen to me you can like cinch it up a little bit and then if you're wearing it with, like joggers you can make it a little bit more cropped i think that would be adorable obviously you could also wear it open but with this outfit on underneath i'm gonna avoid that but no so lovely um is this an actual real wow a little mini real you could actually probably fit your card in there and some cash um but no yeah pockets really nice brown really cute really cozy i'm pretty sure the back is pretty much just plain um and then there is a little collar detail now pricing wise this bad boy makes me think of um goldilocks and the three bears vibes don't ask why and this was oh my goodness me this is unisex by the way so any boys out there you can buy this as well, to be fair. Even if it's from the female section, you can buy it anyway. And this was originally £150 and it was reduced to 40 So that is a very good price reduction. But saying that, I would pay £40 for this coat. If I paid £150 for this coat, I'd be like, eh, come again. So, okay, yes. Then, now, I picked up this and I might just have to keep it, even though it's probably so impractical and quite a silly purchase. But I absolutely love it. I see everyone on Instagram with these little handbags and I wanted to join in. So I got myself a little bright pink faux fur handbag. Now, are you supposed to wear it like that? Because that is not a vibe. But I'm just thinking with my recent, not recent, with my future trip coming up, I feel like it would just look really, really cute. And to be fair, it does have a silver chain. So, you know, it's not completely impractical. And then, should I see if my iPhone fits in there? Because if it doesn't, I've got a problem. Moment of truth. I've got the iPhone 11, I think it is. Um, 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 it's in, but I don't think the bag would do up. So... That's what we're dealing with. Cute, but very impractical, but also very cute. Um, I'm thinking I could just like have my phone and um, no, my, my money in there and my lip gloss and then I'll have my phone in my hand. It's fine. Probably the most stupid purchase. Let me know down below if I should keep that bag or not. Am I being an idiot if I keep it? But it was £18 reduced to £10.50. Next up, whilst I'm still in this horrendously inappropriate outfit, let's show you some accessories that I bought. Now, mum went to me, oh, please tell me you're keeping this. Now, obviously, this was planned for me to have for New York, which would have gone so cute with this lilac outfit that I wore out in New York. But I didn't actually get a photo in it because it was so windy and we were in such a rush because it was our last day. So I do have a brand new lilac coat and I'm kind of tempted to keep this scarf because it is beautiful. Like it is this little knitted number, woven details, little tassels. It's so thick. It's so cosy. I like a long scarf. Again, it looks absolutely incredible with this dress, as you can tell. But the price point of this one was from 18 pounds to 10 pound 50. So oh my God, it's the same price as the bag. That makes me realize how much less fabric, fabric, fabric there is in the bag. Anyway, ow, oh, that was, why would I do that? It's now stuck to the headband. Oh my God, I am such an idiot. Oh my God, no, <gasps> Misha, don't ruin your brand new scarf. There we go. Saved it. Saved it. Brilliant. 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 Okay, now let's move on to some more clothing items and just take this situation off. So, okay, I did pick up this top. Now, spoiler alert, I have tried this on and this dress is kind of doing the same thing. But I feel like some things that are made in this kind of shape. I don't know they're kind of like itchy so I had this top on just to take a photo in because I just wanted something hot pink at the top half and like around my arms where it was is quite sore but it is very cute and maybe once you had a drink or two you wouldn't tell um I'm not sure like it's not like it's too small for me I think it's just the shape but 
I'll pop it on and you guys can see for yourself. Okay, so I've got the top on it. Now, can we see how cute it is? Like, it is a very cute little puffy, fluffy number. It's slightly longer at the back than it is at the front, just from the way that the fabric falls. But I love all these little frills. You guys know tops like this are so up my street. Sorry, I've got an itch. And if you spot my... No! Oh, Chloe's texted me. We're basically... Okay. If I haven't figured this out by the time this video is going up, which I probably won't have, me and Chloe have both now got Apple Watches. We want to do that thing where you challenge each other so you can see who does the most steps, etc, etc. And it's just not working. We've both sent requests and they're not coming up on each other's devices or on our phones. So, yeah. Let me know. Okay. So, anyway, yes, I bought Victoria's Secret underwear in America. You might have seen the vlog. Anyway, so... Very cute, very lovely. It's just like, it's actually like too big for me, but it's under here because it's very like thick here and it's quite high up that my armpit like rubs against it and it's really quite sore annoyingly. It's also making me think I need to shave my armpits a little bit. But I love like a thin strap. I think it's really, really pretty. This is the sort of style I would probably go for in terms of straps for like my wedding dress. I don't know why I'm talking about weddings as though I'm getting married anytime soon or that I'm even engaged, which I am not. Um, so yeah, also this highlight is popping. It's from a new La Roque palette. I've never tried them before, but it's great. So yeah, I like it. It's just not necessarily the most comfortable item on the planet, but maybe once you washed it, it would get better. Pricing wise, this bad boy is £10, reduced from £25. So I have got some absolute steals. Now, I did also pick up a skirt. Now, the fabric of this, I'm not going to lie, is it looked like it was cheap in the photo, but I just really like the shape, but it's, it's really not a great fabric, I'm not going to lie. But I loved this. So it's kind of like a little straight and then a ruffle skirt, but then it has these like overhanging details with these brooches. Now my concern is that this one down here, as we can see, is like a bit too saggy, but I think once it's on my legs and my thighs like stretch out, should be okay. So yeah, this is probably gonna have the worst VPL, but we're gonna give it a whirl, and I just liked the color and the shape of it. To be fair, <laughs> Let me bring you down because the VPL is not that bad. Okay, so it's hard to kind of judge the skirt with this top. So I'm going to try and get rid of most of the puffiness as I can. But can we see? Like, it's not the most flattering, but it's not bad. I'm not like, OMG, I'm obsessed with you. But I do still think it's pretty. Um, it doesn't actually have a VPL, which is very surprising. Um, it's like short, but it's not too short because it's got that ruffle at the bottom. I do think it's longer at the front because obviously my bum cheeks are making it stick out. But I do like the details. The brooches sit flat. I just think that maybe all the doubling of like the fabric is just going to make you look a bit wider. Or maybe... I feel like, I think it's that it's too straight down. If it was tight here and then flared out a bit more, maybe it would give a bit better shape. Because right now it's a bit like sacky. Do you know what I mean? But I do think if it was styled up with the right thing, it would look very cute. And I do remember it being very budget friendly. It was reduced from £25 to £8. And that's the thesis. Okay, now we do have another coat, which is very very different in style again i'm not advising you to wear this complete look as an outfit because this looks atrocious but omg this coat is a bit of me it's very extra oh god i can see all like the hairs flying away because it's just come out the packet um it's a very extra coat i'm not gonna lie to you it won't be everyone's cup of tea but it definitely is mine it's like a bright yellowy but then it's got like a greeny neony vibe through it and then it's got like the brown speck as well this is actually misguided on asos um and i got this in a uk8 because i don't think they had any bigger but it's actually still quite big on me so you probably don't need to size up that much um but no i just think this is really cute it has the little hooks for the thing to do up if i could actually do it correctly there we go oh no my problem is i've got such bad eyesight and it's literally down oh there we go i did one of them but 
I am not sure what you would be able to wear with this because I can tell right now that personally I, I don't know if hot pink's too much. I think it would kind of need to be like an all black outfit and then this coat to just like make it the statement item because otherwise trying to match this shade is going to be next to impossible. But I do think it's beautiful. Misguided faux fur coats are incredible quality, I will give you that. And this was £75 reduced to £52.50. I forgot the 50. So yeah, not the biggest reduction. Well, it is. It's still like 20 something quid, but it's still an expensive item. But as I said, this guy's coats are really good quality, so I get why. Soz. Okay, now for the final item, I have got back into my dressing gown, and I also just had a scandal with a spider, and it was on the wall, and then it fell down, so I put a glass over it, because if you didn't know, I'm absolutely petrified of spiders. It's not that big. It's like that big. Maybe a little bit smaller. Um, but even the fact that it's there and I can see it freaks me the hell out. So the aim of the game is now not to accidentally hit the glass over and the spider to run out. When Kobe comes, I will get him to clear the spider. Anyway, so enough spider talk. The last thing I've got is actually a very similar style of boot to the last one, but slightly different. <laughs> and by slightly, I mean very. So these are a much more squared off toe. They are a much longer heel as in, what would that be? That's not length, that's not width. It, I don't know what it is. But no, these red sort of like Chanel tweed style boots. It says VV on it, which I'm honestly not sure what it stands for, but it just looks quite jazzy. And I just thought these were too beautiful to pass off. So, yeah, they look quite big for a six, I'm not going to lie to you. But the proof is in the pudding. Let me try them on and we can see. Okay, so here we go. We're putting on the red boots. Oh, okay, so they're kind of like padded on the inside. Can we see the um, top of the glass that the spider is under? Show you guys what they are looking like. They are even more comfy than the um, other black ones. Oh, God, it looks like I've got a little willy here. And look at these, they are very, very sassy. I think they would look amazing with the right outfit. There is a close-up detail of the kind of like tweed work. But no, these are a 10 out of 10. And also I can see that the spider is scaling the glass and I'm freaking out. Okay guys, so that is the end of my last ASOS sales haul. I will not be doing another ASOS haul for quite a while now. I feel like I have given you guys a good variety of pieces from there and I hope you have enjoyed. There are some hits, some misses, but I literally picked up something for every kind of taste I feel. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed. I will link all the items down below. Hopefully they are still in stock, they should be. And yes, make sure this video a like and subscribe. Don't think I've said, but hi, I'm Misha Grimes. Toodle pip, I love you guys a lot, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Mwah.